Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Let's Play Kingsfield for the Ancient City. Gotta give a huge shout out to a caged elephant who picked this game for me to do way back at Extra Life 2015. Kingsfield is a series worth being familiar with if you care at all about From's roots in dark fantasy. It, along with Shadow Tower, are the Proto Souls games, uh, the blueprints that Miyazaki would eventually follow while directing Demon Souls. Before there was a Miyazaki at FromSoft, though, there was Naotoshi Zin, who founded the studio. And Zin also mentored Miyazaki and groomed him to take over his position as president of FromSoft. And along the way, he had his hands in just about everything that FromSoft did, and still does to this day. Uh, he plays some kind of role in just about everything they put out. Kingsfield is a dark fantasy RPG, and its strongest points are an atmosphere and complex level design, along with a narrative that is conveyed largely through the environment and item placement. The cursed land lies deep in a dense, colorless forest. Hidden within this land is an ancient city, once known to the forest folk as the Holy Land. Buried in the depths of the city, a warning was discovered long after the rulers have fallen. Grave misfortune will befall those who behold the idol that stares into the darkness. The idol, taken from the ancient land, led the kingdom down a path of destruction. The idol must be returned. Under a dark and cloudy sky, the Swordmaster led his men to the ancient land. The cursed land swallowed the soldiers, and all that remained was dark silence. We're gonna grab that grass, and before we do anything else, take a look around. That great bit of earth, right next to the healing item, uh, falls away if you step over it, and you plunge into an instant death in lava. Seconds into gameplay, a few paces in, and they are happy to pull that death trap. So we start off armed with the knowledge that there's this ancient underground city, and we know that the citizens took this cursed idol that led the entire kingdom into ruin, and thousands of soldiers have died trying to return this accursed thing, and now it passes into our hands and we're off and running. I'm from Heladin. My fellow soldiers went to the ruins. We were sent there to help rid our country of the curse. You don't look very well equipped. Here, take this. He's talking about the club to his right. Uh... Yeah, they led an expedition into the ruins of the ancient city. He became ill while he was camped out there. And, Jesus, doesn't matter. You can't be of much importance if you're here. This land is swarming with monsters. So, yeah, this is about our only equipment for the time being. We're going to collect a couple of things in this opening bit. Uh, we're going to head in here because there's a bit of gold we can get. Whoops. We'll put that club on when we're ready to start hitting things with it. Survivors of the expedition into the ancient city to return the idol 
are few and far between. And they're all gonna be pretty crestfallen. Hmm. This music gets pretty funky. Uh, so... Oh, they even use the phrase colorless fortress in, uh... In the intro FMV. Like a fortress hidden in a vast colorless fog. <laughs> See, over here, there's not too much to get. There is uh, an herb somewhere. And we'll be coming back here much later down the line. Chat with this downtrodden dude who has no eyes, it looks like. I had no idea things were like this. Is there any other way? My wife is waiting for me on the other side of the cliff. Well, that's too bad for you. And we get some squalls. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's right by the base of the bridge. The Caged Elephant gave me the option of picking any Kingsfield game to do the LP on, and I chose to do this one for two reasons. Uh, one, because the other three Kingsfield games are PlayStation 1 games done in the same style, and I don't say this often, but visually they have not aged well. Uh, oh, our first enemy is the Venus Flytraps. Yeah, try to skip them. Leave if you fall down that well, you will die. For now. Expedition chest does not open up. We'll see their uh, crest of the expedition on a flag somewhere. It's a big ass rad spider. Um. Anyway, yeah. Imagine Mega Man Legends dungeons, but dark and in first person. Not flattering. Uh, Kingsfield 4, by comparison, looks pretty good. It takes a nice middle ground between stylized and realistic in its art style, uh, with a lot of artistic liberty taken in the color palettes and stuff. The texture work is pretty good, for a PS, uh, PS2 game, rather. But, also, Kingsfield 4's story stands alone a bit, so you get the benefit of being able to jump to the PS2 game and the fourth one in the series without needing a lot of setup. Look at the oh my god, this three-eyed Cthulhu angel statue. <laughs> FromSoft has always been FromSoft, long before there was Miyazaki. Uh, that statue, by the way, is going to be a save point. Uh, the staircase is broken, it leads up to a rampart that we'll be checking out in a moment. Kind of just going clockwise along the wall. Uh, here's the flag of the expedition with their spider crest. Find out more about that later on. Yeah, FromSoft has always been FromSoft. This is why this LP is kind of fascinating to me, because it's a look back into their roots. You're going to see a lot of overlap with, uh, say, their current output. Uh, so we'll take a little bit of falling damage falling down onto this path by the lava. And we can follow it around to another drop. It's going to look fairly lethal, but I'll get away the, with the next couple of drops with a little bit of health left. And it's worth taking this damage because I have an herb for one. Um, I'm gonna get plenty of healing items by the end of this anyway, and because uh, I'll get kitted out with a couple of leather items before this is over. So now we're up on the rampart that we saw uh, from the broken staircase with the save statue before. In fact, this is right above the save room. And that's just a stronger healing item. The herbs are uh, unconcentrated versions of that. And finally, there's one last thing that we want to pick up on the rampart. And it's that leather helmet right over there. And you want to be quick about picking it up. Because as soon as you pick it up, the rampart falls away. And you uh, take a lot of falling damage. But our health is so low at the moment, that one herb is going to refill it. 
Uh, that orb, the orange orb, by the way, is the health. You would think it would be one of the gauges, one of the uh, bars up there, but nah. Uh, this is a really bad design decision, the way the stamina bar is colored, but uh, cause it's, it's red on red, just different shades. It's like red on pink. But yeah, there is that. There's the bar at the top, and it acts as a stamina bar. It depletes as we run, and it will rapidly refill. And it also depletes when you swing your weapon. And that bar also governs how hard you hit. Speaking of which, I should equip stuff. Uh, you can strike as fast as the weapon will allow you to. Regardless of whether or not the meter is full, but if you let it fill up, you do a lot more damage. So it also governs your power. And the weight of your weapon determines how quickly that bar refills. So this is the first enemy we're actually going to fight these big armored pill bugs. And you're going to be seeing a lot of that. A lot of circle strafing and is really pretty basic combat tactics. A lot of stuff that you actually get familiar with in Dark Souls and Demon Souls and stuff. And these enemies are pretty tremendously detailed. The way they skitter about, you can see their, their front mandibles. Each segment of the carapace. They give me the creeps. Something about just putting big armored pill bugs is one of your first enemy types, along with the, the giant man-eating fly traps in the beginning. By comparison, the Souls games are pretty standard in what they present you with early on. It's always just hollows and gaunt soldiers. It's pretty normal, mundane stuff by comparison. This is just... It drops you into this world that is so alien. Um, dragon fossil in the well. And then in here, oh, in here, when I walked through this door the first time, I thought at the end of the hall, it was a fog gate. It's not quite. Uh, we don't wanna head up there yet. There's really just one room that I need it to be in. And it's this one, with the green slime. Oh, the chest didn't open up. I guess I was not quite fixed over it. So we'll just do our huge, long 360. Ah. I think that's a fungus or a mushroom. Oh, I thought you were dead. That's not. And those are wooden boots. I think we collected the leather ones before. I'll do a little bit of stat comparing at some point shortly down the road. But I don't want to get too bogged down in that stuff just yet. Because I want to make a little bit of decent progress here. And uh, saw the dragon fossil in the well. Well, there's a big depiction of one on the, the wall. To fulfill the promise, the forest folk and the earth folk shall unite in harmony, becoming one. We heard a little bit about the forest folk and the earth folk in the uh, opening FMV. We're just gonna back away. Uh, we we do not want to mess with that skeleton. That skeleton is a badass. I'm not kidding. He might be able to one-shot me at this point. I'm not quite sure. Uh, he will definitely two-shot me, if not one. So yeah, we're gonna back away from him. We'll come back for him later. <laughs> Backing on up. Uh, we have a bunch of paths we can take off of this route with uh, the, the pill bugs. Try to clear them out a little bit. Uh, ooh. Backing it up, not working out super well for me. Um, now I, I would not describe the controls <laughs> as feeling great, even though this is a dual analog PS2 game. Uh, it doesn't really control like a normal first-person game should, 
where left is forward and backwards and strafing left and right and the right stick is full uninverted camera control. No, it's not like that. It's pretty bad. Uh, I think just seeing it in motion you kind of get a, a good feel. Yee. I probably should not be messing with them. We can't afford to lose a, an herb. Uh, circle strafing, while just as effective as it ever was, is painstaking in this as well because the sun sets and rises in the time that it takes for you to turn 360 degrees around. Look at this! Look at the goddamn turn speed! It's so slow! <laughs> uh, yeah, so the pacing uh, is, is somewhere between plotting and very deliberate. Again, you can see the, the, the roots, the genesis for that style of, of combat in the Souls games. We get some chest armor. Very deliberate and slow paced. which is definitely not for everybody, but... Oh, hold on. Just wanted to make sure I got past the, the pill bugs. Um, oh, they're... Ooh, 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 that's not good. I thought they would uh, bound. Well, they do kind of... Uh, they do kind of leash in the corner and go back out. Oh, that's tremendously terrible. Ooh, fuck. Eh, leveled up. We'll get into, oh no, stats and progression and character progression and stuff, uh... Later on. I made a really bad decision going into this room before clearing that out. I actually didn't think that they would be able to follow me in. Uh, but we do pick up a silver sword in here, which I think may be slightly better than the club. Um, our item burden went up a little bit since we leveled up, so we're no longer encumbered from putting on the chest armor. Hmm, there's an herb by this guy. I should probably not do something stupid like try to pick it up and then run away, because that's mm, got me into some trouble with the pill bugs so far. Good, good. Uh, the network of caves here messes me up a little bit directionally. Oh, hey, you just turned around, didn't you? A real Miyazaki thing was uh, creating a sense of solitude through ambient noise and specifically a lack of music. There are really not many levels in Souls games that have music aside from boss fights, uh, and it helps to really isolate you with deafening silence. Kingsfield is in that way very different, because as you can hear, there's uh, constant background music. Not only is there music, but it's not what you would expect to hear in this style of RPG. Just give it a listen for a second. It's not gothic, it's not operatic, it's not full of these swelling Gregorian choirs and dramatic strings. It's, it's subdued, it's melodic. And it sounds heavily synthesized, at least for now. Like, there are other tracks in the game that have a lot of those qualities, but for now, it, it's it sounds like what Metroid Prime would do with its soundtrack one year after this came out. And to me, it's easy on the ears when you're not playing it, when you're just listening to the soundtrack on its own. But in context of the game, it's kind of unsettling because it's so alien. 
it really does throw you off and out of place. Like, it throws you out of place. It, it messes with your sense of location. It doesn't feel like uh, your typical fantasy medieval European setting because of that music, even though a lot of the architecture and the rest of the, the visual design of the game does kind of uh, allude to that as a setting. The music does it goes a long way to making you feel like you're not on Earth. And that is, in its own way, kind of scary. That and the fact that you're fighting, like, you're not fighting soldiers, you're fighting pill bugs and, and Venus flytraps right off the bat. Definitely, you know, messes with your stride a little bit. This little girl. What the hell? There's nothing to do here. It's so boring. This stupid dog doesn't want to play with it. Her dog looks like it's dying. My mom's sick. I came here to take care of her. If only I had a rock of life. I found a pretty rock in a house over there, but it wasn't the right one. My father told me that the rock of life can cure any type of disease. I hope that he comes back soon. I'm so bored. What the fuck? Like, I can't even put myself in that girl's mindset of being concerned with boredom for entertaining myself in this horrible, bleak universe. <laughs> uh, here's her dying mom. Have you come here <laughs> searching for a rock of life? Uh, she talks about a mine. If you're planning on going to the mine, it would be wise to take along some antidotes found in the valley. The old mine shaft has been uh, sealed. Be careful not to get lost in there. My husband hasn't come back yet. I hope he's safe. The illness makes it difficult to move about. If I could move, I would go search for my husband. All I can do is pray for a safe return. If I could move, I, okay. Now she's looping her dialogue. And we kind of complete our armor set with a shield here. A sword and board. Shocking. Uh, so, get that bad boy on. She mentioned uh, collecting antidotes in the valley. Our first location is a poison location. They waste no time with fuckery. I mean, but you saw that right in the beginning with the, the lava death traps. They waste no time. You open the door, and it's a, sh a, a pit. And they don't so much ease you in as they just push you out the door. Like, bye, bitch. Uh, these red pill bugs are much stronger versions. They hit a quite a bit harder, I believe. Uh, and they take like five or six swings to kill but there are comparatively few of them in here, and this room is uh, full of herbs and antidotes. So it's definitely worth taking the time. Oof, bad mistake. Hoping I could hit him and stagger him before he could uh, lunge at me. They also have a rolling attack, I wanna say, but I haven't seen him do it so far. All of these holes in this cave are real threatening because they are pill bug size, so they're the the pill bug hovels. And they make you think that one could just come out at any time. Hey there. Oh. Missed. Uh, if this was a bigger area, I would try circle strafing it. But eventually they'll get tired of chasing you down and try to turn and lure you in. And they'll just do a little circle like that. There you go. And that's a full power strike. Wow. One more? One more. Oh, come on. I'm barely keeping up with his turning rate. Oh. <laughs> Turn so slow.
Now, uh, I think that clears all of them out. So we can just collect all these antidotes for our poison mine shaft. Uh, also, healing the, uh, the bored girl's dying mother and uh, dealing with resolving the missing husband uh, are, that's going to be our first real quest of the game. And uh, as we progress, we'll open up more of the map and we can eventually set the idol back where it belongs. Lest we meet the fate of the other thousand soldiers of the expedition who failed to do just that. Can't really interact with the gravestones just yet. There are a bunch of barrels over here and there have been crates that you have seen. Uh, I think we need something specific to open those up or to rather smash them. You need certain weapon types. But that's going to about do it. Uh, since we've kind of gotten to the point where we're now on our first quest, we can call for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.